Here the question is, two light conducting balls is of mass 10 milligram are suspended by silk threads one meter long from a common point. When equal charges are given to the balls, they repel each other to a distance of 20 centimeter. And if we have to find the charge on each ball. So the given parameters are mass of balls, M, symbol M, equals 10 milligram, which will be equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg. Length of thread, L equals to 1 meter. And separation between charges are equal to 20 centimeters. The arrangement is shown in figure. Let they are suspended from common point O. At a ball, first is A and second is B. Here we have to find out the charge. So let Q be the charge on each ball. Charge on each ball. And now here, the forces acting on the balls are forces acting on the balls are Kun One is gravitational force of attraction. First one is gravitational force of attraction, which is equal to Mg, which acts vertically downward. In the figure, for ball A, it's Mg vertically downward. For ball B, it's also vertically downward. And another force is electrostatic force of repulsion between charges. It's one upon four pi epsilon naught Q square by R square. So it's directed away from each other, away from each other. So the force is F E, another force is F E. And next one is it's tension. Tension T on the thread directed towards directed towards point of suspension. That is from A to O, one force is tension, and from B to O extension. Now, since the balls <coughs> are it in stationary condition there, so the sum of all the forces must be equal to zero. <coughs> For ball A, the forces are F, E, T, and M, G. So to add all these force, we will find out the component of T by finding out this angle theta between a perpendicular line from point of suspension to the line AB. So AC will be equal to air, R equals to, uh, R dash equals to 0 0.1 meter. So let's find out angle theta AOC. The angle theta AOC will be sine theta equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. It's R dash by length L, 0 0.1 by 1. So angle is theta equals to sine inverse 0 0.1, which will be equal to 5.73 degree. So we can resolve tension T into two components. One component perpendicular to the line joining two charges. This, the angle between T and this perpendicular line is theta, alternate angles. So the component of T along this line is T cos theta, and another component is along the line joining two charges, it is T sin theta. Similarly, for ball B, again the angle BOC is theta, so angle between this perpendicular line and the thread is also theta. So the component of T is T cos theta perpendicular to the line, and along the line joining, it's T sine theta. Since the charges are at equilibrium here, 
since the charge is R at equilibrium, net force must be equal to zero. For net force to be equal to zero, we must have T cos theta equals to mg and T sin theta equals to electrostatic force. Now dividing equation two by one, dividing equation two by one, we'll get T sin theta by T cos theta equals to mg by electrostatic force, or it will be equals to, sorry, it's Fe by mg. Fe by mg. So it will be equals to 10 theta equal to Fe by mg. So then Fe, electrostatic force is equals to mg 10 theta. And electrostatic force is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q square by R square, which is equals to mg 10 theta. So the value of Q square is here. Q square equals to mg R square 10 theta and into 4 pi epsilon naught. Or Q equals to square root m g r square 10 theta 4 pi epsilon naught. Let me write once again by re rearranging this. Q equals to Q equals to 4 pi epsilon naught m g r square and 10 theta. So let's use the values. 4 pi epsilon naught is this is equals to 1 over 9 into 10 to the power 9, mass 10 milligram, 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. Let's make the use of G as 10. And here R is 0 0.1 and 10 theta. 10 into 5.73 degree into 10, 5.73 degree. So upon solving this, we'll get the answer is 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 7 column. So in this way, this problem is solved.